hello again. Uh, I know it's been a little while since my last video. Um, it was kind of a series of unfortunate events uh, on D&D &D days for the past few weeks. Uh, the first one, um, I had a really nasty cold and I ended up leaving work early that day because I was feeling like crap. So no D&D. &D. Uh, the following week, one of the dogs was sick. The boyfriend was not going straight home after work, so I had to go home and take care of the dogs. And then last week, uh, the night before my car when I was braking, uh, my brakes were making metal on metal sounds. So I had to drop my car off the next day, found, it out, found out that I needed all new brakes. And by the time I got my car back, there was no way I was going to make it on time for D&D. Boo. So last night was my first time playing in pretty much a month. And, uh, you know, I I've said this before, it seems like every time uh, I miss a couple weeks uh, and I come back, we're captured. This time we weren't. Um, one of the DMs, actually our DM, couldn't make it, so we had a different DM, so we ended up doing a side quest, which was really fun. Uh, <laughs> we, uh, let's see here, we started out, you know, we were in this basically really dark area and we actually saw the light of day for once um we got sent by miss mistress mi something at, we said elvira it was close enough uh it's like iverna maybe something like that i don't know but she sent us on a quest to go to a monastery something with monasteries uh, and she gave us this cursed coin to uh, help us get in somewhere. Okay, let's go. So, uh, first thing that happened was uh, we're, we, in order to get to the monastery, we had to go to basically the deepest, darkest part of this one forest, which ended up being kind of neat. Lots of nerd references last night. I'll go through that in a little bit. But... Um, no references in D&D. &D. What a surprise. <laughs> so uh, uh, we got helped into the woods. Uh, we ended up setting up camp. Um, and during the third person's watch, I think it was, um, these spiders showed up randomly uh, from the trees above us. And they started attacking us with venom and other bad things not good so um, we we ended up killing spiders of course and um, I was an idiot last night uh, and I'm like oh yeah I'm too far to attack them whatever oh yeah I have a ranged weapon I could attack them but I didn't because I'm dumb so um, as soon as I fi figured out that I could attack with a ranged weapon because I gained intelligence apparently at some point last night, um, uh, I we had our, the other party members had already killed one spider, and so I went over and I shot the other spider and killed it. So I was helpful, sort of ish. Depends on what you consider helpful. Um, and then we kept on going on, and, uh, let's see here, we, we set up camp again, and during the second person's watch, um, we, basically they compared it to Jurassic Park, where, you know, when the T-Rex comes, somebody actually said, maybe it's a T-Rex, but there was basically enough vibration in the ground to... Uh, that we could feel it. We're like, oh, that can't be good. Turns out that there were, oh, this by this time we were in the darkest part of the forest. And uh, it was actually kind of neat because, um, you know, as we were walking along, the trees would light up kind of like when you're <laughs> at a grocery store and you're walking down the aisle and the, the freezers light up. Uh, so the trees would light up as we moved, and um, comparing it to Pandora last night, and um, we, you know, set up camp, 
and then all we start or the person who's on watch started hearing noises feeling vibrations whatever he ended up waking up the next person uh who was supposed to be on watch that guy woke up the rest of us so uh we look off into the distance and we see two large tree di- giants they're covered in moss and branches and vines and whatever um and uh we they're saying something about wanting to kill draw um one of our party members was able to translate for us so he came uh they came over and we're like oh crap so you know i backed up because i was the lowest level character last night because i hadn't been there for three weeks so i backed up and um one of our party members is like oh we're not drow we're not drow don't kill us and so um basically uh when it came to my turn i did almost the same thing and uh the what i say i said something along the lines of we're not drow um but we might be able to help you find the drow persuasion check and uh the the uh giant tree guy uh, he see, he seems more friendly to us. So, of course, I had to make a Guardians of the Galaxy reference and say, Hi, everybody! Meet my new group friend! Because he's large, and he's tree, and he doesn't really do much. Um, so, eventually, um, no attacking this time. Uh, nobody battled, nobody tried to fight each other, whatever. So, eventually, the the tree giants were like, we're gonna go this way, look for drow, don't follow us or we'll kill you. So we decided to go the not being killed route, and went, about, went on our way, where we eventually found this huge tree. Oh, by the way, the story's longer than usual, because I actually stayed for the full three hours last night. So, uh, a little bit longer video than usual. Uh, I see I'm at about seven minutes when I would normally be wrapping up about now. Uh, so, we came across this tree. We saw some stairs that led up. So, we're like, okay, let's go up them. So, we go up the tree, come to a bridge, cross the bridge. Uh, and we came across some drow, except they were there because they were hiding. Um, not from the giants that uh, we had just encountered, but from completely different giants. We're talking fire giants. So, uh, we talked to them, and they knew where the monastery was that we were looking for. So, um, we went back down, we found the monastery, and then uh, kind of all hell breaks loose when we get inside the monastery. Because uh, there's a bunch of ghosts there. And yeah. <laughs> so we get into this room. And there's a ghost there surrounded by two banshees. Which were represented by two little Cthulhus. And made me smile. Um, so the banshees scream. And knock out all but two party members including me. Since I was making my character according to the other people's abilities, I did not include any healing spells because everybody else had them, so why would I need them? I would need them for moments such as this. So uh, I cannot do pretty much anything. And uh, we didn't realize until about two thirds through this battle that um the banshees were solid we thought that they were ghosts most of the times because whenever somebody casts it something it didn't work um as soon as we realized that they were solid actually i got to use uh was it thunder thunder's wave whatever um i was close enough to do that at one point which was awesome um i ended up doing a good amount of damage um Plus, I pushed them back further. 
And then we found out that they were solid. I'm like, hey, ranged weapon. So I started shooting at them. But um, the uh, the banshees we killed with little to no problem. It was the ghost that we had issues with. She ended up going uh, 40 feet in the air and was just hovering there for a while, watching as we're trying to stay alive, <laughs> trying to get people conscious again so they could help fight. Um, <laughs> so uh, we killed the Banshees, and then we're working on this ghost chick. Um, and it was, I, I was happy, because, you know, my, my ranged weapon on a thing that you could walk through would not help. So I got to use Vicious Mockery for the first time. Uh, I rolled high for it, which was good. And then uh, my, my attack for it, I'm like, well, I'm going to just yell a bunch of Yo Mama jokes at you. <laughs> Because I've been wanting to say that since I chose Vicious Mockery. Um, so uh, I ended up only getting, I think, two hit points. But at this point, we needed to do damage. She apparently had over 40 hit points. So we, we needed to do as much damage as possible. Uh, we did end up killing her just as the store should have been closing. Uh... It was funny because the DM's little girl kept like coming over and saying, "It's 8:54. It's 8:55." It was kind of I don't want to say annoying because it's a little kid, but at the same time it kind of was. Um, <laughs> but we did end up killing everything. So uh, lots of nerdy references last night. Uh, there was a Harry Potter reference uh, when we were trying to figure out what the giants were saying. Um, we were talking about how awesome it would be to have this Star Trek translator or a, a babblefish in your ear. Um, let's see here. What other references did we make last night? Uh, Groot, obviously. Um, yeah, that might have been it. Oh, Lord of the Rings at one point. So, <laughs> you name a nerd dumb, it got referenced last night, which made it kind of extra fun for me. Um, anyways, uh, we, we ended up getting a thousand experience points each, so if I didn't hit level three with a thousand experience points, I think I, my character sucks. Um, and there was much, uh, bagpipe music from my character last night, since for half the time I thought I couldn't do anything. I, I don't know why I was being dumb, but whatever. Anyways, um, until next week, bye!